Whoa, 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 okay, whoa. Okay, EG taking a page out of Secrets book. They do the five-man movement right down the mid lane, and they cross pass. Huge stun comes out. All in the back of the disruption play onto Ana. Can they get the finish? They can. And here we go, folks. Game three action underway. Jarek seeing the brunt force of the damage. Hides around the trees, but the Glazer are going to be coming through, and they're going to get that kill. Also, good torrent connection onto S4. A follow-up secondary stun is going to be there onto two. As another one's going to get dropped, it makes it three down all day from OG. They're also going to be looking for no-tail. Will they actually somehow make it four? Before yep. the one minute mark, yes, they will. They time it out nicely. That's a disruption into a torrent, into a stun, and EG are here to play in game three. Five to zero, Ben. Oh As my god. The horn goes out. Where's the good luck? Have fun right now. That please. was disgusting. They thought they could take this fight because Napalm's pretty strong at level one. And they're gonna level one Roche. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the Oh my god, the acid spray plus the Luna Glaze. There's so much damage that fight. I don't think I've ever seen a 5-0 wipe at the start. 5-0 wipe at the start. One half. One and a half. Uh, I mean, that's, that's a big deal when you're talking about a trial. And they're look not at, looking to even give OG the opportunity to recover from the power peak that EG have already gotten for themselves. They go right to work again. Yeah. They show and flex their huge aggressive lane. Oh, in trouble again. Bottom lane. RTZ softens him up with a Lucent Beam. That leads to another disruption, another torrent, and they just swarm around him. He makes his own little illusion spread and tries to walk out and away, but they're going to get him down again. RTZ is dominating now. He is 4 0 2 on the Luna. Kill and it's Ooh, easy. that was fun. Jerex just kicks Universe to the low ground, pulls him away from the creeps, and forces him to run up and around. But the problem is, is that. They have Zai waiting in the wings, and he's going to pop him off with a torrent, take him down, and they don't stop there. There's the X. There's the pullback. And they had the torrent where S4 is going to be walking out from. It's just one of those games oh, where it's nothing just goes one right. of those games. Like, what is this? We also thought that those kills, it looks like he has the Helm of Iron Will, and uh, now kind of just controls the whole lane. Mid lane. I said Zai was making moves. He's at mid lane. Connects him with the torrent and he just casually walks up with the help of a DD. And uh, he was smoke, to be fair. Right. Zai's here now. Zai needs to go to work. No boat, though. So that's going to be the magnetized committed. There's going to be the boulder smash. Eclipse is going to get fired. Jerex needs a lot of the damage, but he lives on. So now he can move forward. He's going to start chunking down the stones. He gets a new one refreshed onto Arteezy. That could be enough. Zai is going to get finished off, but oh no, he lives. He even boats himself just to be safe. Keeps him fine. Arteezy's also good. They will take down Jerex, but that was a that nice, was close. nice call from EG. It seems like they actually, they called over the Kunkka, but if Kunkka hadn't TP when he did, they that would have been a much more sticky situation. Universe strikes in the mid lane, and it will allow him to get the takedown. Tried to lead it in with the Carapace stun pop. Didn't get that one, but Dang. was able to connect with the stun instead. And now it's up here. Looks like a defensive song for No-Tail as he sees the approach of the support duo of EG. Makes it out from trouble, and... Now OG are not going to feel good about moving into the jungle. They're smoked to the north, though. Arteezy, if he retreats back up, he's dead. Oh, but he has company here who are chasing in for Ana, and here comes the rest of the team. Boulder Smash is not going to be able to connect. Now moves into the rolling boulder, pops out the Magnetize. I don't know how many stones he's going to have left. While they do able to move in, they quickly take out the Dazzle. That is going to be crippling to OG. And Magnetize or not, they continue to move on in, and they're going to quickly execute Ana. They're looking for the follow-up stun on the Jerex. Right clicks could be there. The Radiance Burn is on, and suddenly four are going to get wiped. They will lose Arteezy there at the end. But EG again come out with a huge power fight. That's Taking not bad four for OG. Swing. I think S4 got credit for Ancient stack up there, but top lane. Disruption on for S4. There's going to be the Purge, and suddenly a rolling in Jerex. He's going to make the move. He gets the two-man stun connection, then follows up with the Magnetize. He already knows that crit's going to be gone, so he's made the move for Universe next. And that should lead to his takedown. And suddenly OG have been able to string together five kills in the past minute. And they're not going to be following up with a tier one takedown. Also on the scene, all of OG coming to attend to this one. This could be a big definitive fight. S4 is going to make the move, but the Carapace is there from Universe, and Insta shuts him down. Oh, the power of the Knicks. Yeah. Really shows itself there, man. Universe so fast on the trigger with that one. See if you've got a Naga lineup, but they will do what they can to cheese their way through these side lanes in the meantime. Oh, Crit's dead, by the way. They get a good jump and a good splat right there. <laughs> and he gets caught out. To show up, it will. Jumps in, Carp is stunned, two man stun. And uh, they're persistent, man. They want to get Zai down. They commit to Magnetize for it. They will be able to get the grab. Now, S4 with the follow up, goes for Crit. 
Gets that kill too, but now the cores are coming out. And that is when OG need to make the call, and that's going to be the song retreat. So it's a, even more devastating perhaps than a normal Nyx vs. Storm They game. have found Dazzle! Oh! That value Dazzle kill with a plus 12 on the greed. Man. Fill up a bit, but Arteez begins to go to work. Sieging away into tier 3. OG. The tournament life being defended up. Another stun onto S4 as he makes the last of play. Plus they got disruption. Here comes the foe, and it's going to annihilate S4. EG, shrug off that assault from OG. Uh, he is so fast. Jerix is going to have to get a Shallow Grave to stay alive, and now No-Tail pulls out the song, spreads out the illusions, but not going to be doing a whole lot on the offensive. Now Ana, making the jump in, looking to go for crit. Jumps out, avoids the stun, jumps back in, but this time can't avoid too much. There's going to be the Grave to save. The pullback, though, has to jump out for a third time to make it away from trouble. And then the Dazzle going to be eating the Warpath as the Eclipse flies forward. They almost get the burst onto No-Tail, onto Ana, but they will just be forced instead to go back inside the fountain where it's safe. While EG begin to go to work on the racks. They see S4, and they quickly take him out. He's going to be forced to buy back now. OG looking to stay alive in the tournament with Ana jumping in. Gets the pullback for crit. Can't get the finish yet. Gets knocked in the head with a Lucid Beam and will go down. Has 15 seconds left. Thanks to that Bloodstone. Well, you called it. You said it was going to be a race, and EG are sprinting across the finish line as they clean up the remnants of OG's base, and they have little fight left in them. S4 oh, just man, that them. had been the story. Every jump in by S4 is quickly answered by EG, and that is going to lead to takedowns now. No Tail is going to get dropped. He's going to have to buy back here. Ana on his final Harava defense is going to be forced to grave and walk back to the fountain once again as No Tail shows up. He is just going to get shredded apart. Sumail, the man, the beast, rushes him and patrols him and guides him all the way back to the fountain. Look at the kickback from Jerix. Cute little play there. We'll get Sumail down into the ground. But when you see the base of OG, you are heartbroken now as they have lost two sets of racks. Can they catch anyone on the way out? They're looking to go for crit. He gets off the disruption, but Ana is not done yet. He makes the full committed jump, and they will be able to take the Shadow Demon now, but it is a hard hit to the chin for OG. It's very cool how the strategy is developed throughout the tournament, though. Like, we constantly saw, like, the uh, first pick Oracle by EG, and then eventually got counted. And, like, Earth Spear is, like, decent at doing spread damage, as is, like, the Fat Rider plus oh, Naga. Universe is spotted as 4 rolls right Not over again. his Firefly with the Carapace and takes him down. OG were just on the prowl in hopes of catching anyone farming. Song, and this could be the defense from OG. No Tail looking to lead it off. Illusions yes. to the back, looking for the support staff here. Looking to cancel out any sort of blink movement. And now it's still on Sumail. Sumail and Arteezy going on the racks. They are going to be able to take down Crit in the back inside, but that hasn't stopped the cores yet. S4 is going to get the grab. It's on Arteezy. There's the pull all the way in. Arteezy pops up the Eclipse and his BKB, and then rushes on back and through the boat. Coming out from Zai. Keeps him alive and well. Now it's going to be Zai under a bit of pressure. Items on the Alchemist right now. Even a perfectly executed combo like that is not going to put them ahead in the edge of the fight. All right, they get a quick kill onto Crit, and then they actually spot out Arteez. He looked to go for him, but guess who is there once again? It's Universe to quickly shut down S4 as he's done all of this game. Oh, Ana with the grave save will be able to make it. As he ball lightnings up into the trees. Oh, poor Fly, though. Poor Fly was spotted. And Universe, man, he had, he's been a serious bully this game. He has, and like, what? This has certainly got to be it. If OG can't hold, this game is over. Jumping from Ana, quickly yules up. Song is already on the back end of it. Is it going to be good enough for OG? The boat flies shortly after it's over. Ana's in, but he gets X'd. He gets pulled right back into the mess with, under the power of the Eclipse of Arteezy. Mitigates and rids of all those illusions, and they look to go over for Jerix now, but Jerix is going to get the grave. The rest of EG, though, bullying and pushing back the rest of the team. On is with the first to be dropped. The Rax has gone down, the Megas are unleashed, and EG, well, it looks like they've done it, and they are going to be squared up against Newbie in the grand final. GG. A ridiculous series. Got to give props to both teams. They swung for it. OG, though, fall back for the Naga once again in game three, and EG were ready for it. They had match